I'm excited about today's episode. We're meeting up with Jean Perron, who is a fantastic architecture photographer here in Calgary. Now he runs some very high end equipment. So we've equipped him with the brand new GFX 100 Mark II and that 30 millimeter tilt shift lens, which is purpose built for shooting architecture. Now he has set us up in Rockland Park, a new development here in Calgary, in one of the show homes that he shoots to show us how he approaches the scene and what he thinks of the GFX system. Let's go check it out. All right, we're here with Jean Perron, who's one of the best architecture photographers here in Calgary. Been a big fan of his work for a long, long time. Check out his Instagram and his website. For those of you who don't know, Jean is from uh, Montreal. Montreal originally, so he's got a bit of an accent. You might pick it up once in a while during our conversation here. What made you get into architecture photography in the first place? I didn't have to rent a studio. <laughs> <laughs> when you start photography, uh, you try to have your cost low. And uh, by nature, I have a very graphic mind, and I love architecture. Uh, I like design and everything, so obviously you try to shoot what you love. And I always love beautiful building and things like, like that. By nature, I'm kind of very sensitive to the quality of light. And when you shoot architecture, it's all about the quality of the light, so you have to uh, understand, okay, where the light uh, needs to be when you shoot the exteriors. And because it came very naturally for me, uh, I think it was a great uh, area to work with. Well, even from the, the, the first moment we, I met you years and years ago at the camera store, you're blowing me away with your level of uh, nuances. In a, in, I mean, you're telling me you used to bring two different kinds of rakes for different kinds of carpets yeah, yeah. for the show home, right? And yeah. the, the, the meticulousness of your work just blew me away. And every time I think, oh, I understand, right? You put it up another level. Right? Yeah, like to me, it's all about controlling your image. Like make sure that everything that could be done to make the pictures better, I'll do it. Like, if it needs to be shot at 2 a.m. in the morning or uh, like uh, in a snowstorm, I'll do it. <laughs> now you've always invested in high quality yeah. gear, right? Yeah. You're running some, some lunacy, you're running a phase one, right? The Q4 yeah. back right now. Um, I mean, it's incredibly expensive, but the quality out of it is phenomenal. So um, we've hooked you up with the GFX 100 Mark II today with the 30 millimeter tilt shift lens, which yeah. is almost purpose built for yeah. shooting architecture. It is. Uh, uh, ability to have something that compact, uh, relatively affordable, because okay, if you're a professional, you think about professional lenses. Mm -hmm. This lens that I just tried is so well designed. Everything is smooth, everything uh, feels right. Uh, the balance, the quality, the uh, option to use uh, is uh, top of the line. All right, John, so now we're set up here, kind of in this beautiful kitchen you've set us up with. How do you go about approaching a scene like this? What's your first train of thought as you go through? First is I'm gonna make the decision of where I'm gonna place the lens. And it, this is based on the fill of view and also high, high and how low. I'm gonna place the lens so all the uh, lines separate each uh, item, like from the counter to the table behind. Once I have that decision made of where the height of the lens is, I'm gonna decide where the center of the lens is. And this, is, this decision is going to be based on avoiding distortion. Okay. So I have a round lamp uh, overhead right here. And I'm going to place the center of the lens and the center of the lamp. So the, the, the lamp. So there's no distortion. So once that's uh, done, I have to uh, observe the field of view of the, the lens to the sensor. And I'm going to make my composition based on moving the back uh, up and down, s s left and right, uh, to um, have a nice composition. If I want to see more to the uh, left, I'm going to sh shift the back to the right. The main concept of a tilt shift lens is the ability to recompose your shot from 
where the lens is, like the, the, what the field of view of the lens uh, give you without any adjustment. Mm -hmm. Best way to approach this lens is without movement. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you start- Zero everything out. Zero everything out. So once you have your lens positioned exactly where you want it for exactly the perspective that you want, yeah. either distance or height or uh, the center of the lens. So when this is done, you could take a photograph and see what you have and say, okay, well, I would like to see more to the left, but keep the same perspective. So the thing that you do is simply move the lens to the opposite. So now what you see is more of this, less of this. So you recompose. There's no distortion because the lens didn't move, but you recompose. The, uh, the shot exactly how you want. So what's happening, the lens isn't actually just covering the, 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 uh, the, the whole sensor, it's actually covering a much bigger circle yes. than the sensor. So you have lots of room within that circle yeah. to cover. And, and this lens uh, with this camera is designed to make movement of 15 millimeter in any direction hmm. without vignetting wow. and keeping oh. the sharpness. Uh, so that's how I approach these lens as I start zero. I find my composition, I find the distance that I want, and uh, once that I say, well, I see too much ceiling. Now I have the ability to go up and down. So if you want more ceiling or yeah. more floor, right, you have the ability to recompose that way without changing the lens whatsoever. I mean, this is something that is really unique about this. I mean, you yeah. you shot Canon for a long time, right, yeah. with their tilt shift lenses, which are really highly regarded as well. Yeah. But the problem with them is that you are shifting the lens from side to side, so, right? So your perspective changes a little bit, yeah. right? It's subtle, but it changes. Where on this system here, the lens stays fixed, and the back is what's moving back and forth. The ability to recompose with all the movement, this is what makes the lens for architecture photography. It's not just about having the line straight. Obviously, you're gonna make them straight by leveling the camera. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's a no-brainer for that. But the way you could recompose after you make those decisions uh, is what makes this system uh, so in this perfect. case, in this case, it's less about the the tilting. It's more about the shifting. Yes, right? because it, it, it's okay to see things not quite perfectly straight in a situation like this. Yeah. We just want to be able to make sure everything is the same perspective. What we call perspective control. The perspective is determined by where the lens is compared to the subject. So if I move the lens here, it's not centered. Even if I, I, I well, I, I could turn it this way to recenter. Mm -hmm. But if I decide to move this way and decide to recompose with the back shifting, because it's not center, it's going to have a distortion. So the idea is to always minimize distortion in architecture. Like uh, the other thing, aspect of having the lens in one position, when you look and you look at the composition because it's a one point perspective on yeah. the lens. So for example, what I would do is, well, because it's a one point perspective, this chair looks too back, too far, far back. So I will move the chair, not the camera. So now I'm gonna go back and take another shot and see if it feels balanced. But I'm not gonna move the camera anymore. It's fixed, it now looks uh, balance. And I would do the same for every element because it's a hundred megapixel. Mm -hmm. This 30 millimeter lens has the ability to act as a zoom because now I'm seeing everything in here. But if I want to see just that lamp, that chair, and that uh, fridge, if I crop, is almost if I has a zoom. Because the lens didn't move, the perspective will be the same. It's exactly the same. The same perspective, but the 100 megapixel give you the ability to deliver to your client detailed shot within that as if you had like a zoom. 
the fact that this have a collar that the back move, I think it's worth the price for it. Like yeah. That. So, yeah. It's the perfect lens to shoot interiors. That's quite a bold, give, that's quite a bold claim coming from you. <laughs> uh, but I've been shooting with tilt shift lens uh, for a long time. And uh, one of the main reasons I bought a view cameo for my back mm -hmm. is because the back move, the, the, my uh, Campbell camera, the lens doesn't move. And that's the principle of it. Uh, so, and that's one thing that always uh, was making compromise with my Canon tilt shift lens. Mm -hmm. it, to be honest, most people don't see those things like Kai and like the, oh, there's a slight distortion, but I do. Well, it's one of those things, once you see it, you can't unsee it, right? But those nuances, those subtleties that you get that you, you, you don't see at first. Yeah. I mean, you're using some really high-end gear on your side of things. Yeah. You're running the phase system, right? Yeah. Right? Um, and it you know, boggles me the amount of money you put into your system to make that work. How are you finding this sort of compares with it? Well, it's going to put me out of business <laughs> if too many people use it. No. It's a great inv investment if you're a professional. The, all the movement with this uh, lens, it's extremely smooth. Like it could go like very, and then one degree. Right. So you have more precision. This is why I use this uh, head here because of the precision of movement. See? Mm -hmm. See? So I want that same precision in my lens. And this has it. Like it's just amazing what you, how smooth this is one degree at a time. All right, well, that was a lot of fun. I've been wanting to do this episode for a while. Jean is at the top of his game when it comes to shooting architecture. He's got amazing quality equipment, but also a great eye and a great sense of what he's looking for and how to achieve it with the equipment that he's given. Now, he was impressed with the GFX 30 mil, so I really appreciate what he had to say about that, but I also really like getting the insights into how he approaches a shoot, how he works something, and to get the results that he wants for his very demanding clients. But I, of course, want to know what you guys think of the Fujifilm GFX system, as well as that 30 millimeter tilt shift lens, and hopefully you got some insights into how an architecture photographer thinks about approaching a scene and kind of apply it to your own life if that's something you're interested in. Make sure you leave comments down below. Follow us both on Instagram. It's Dave from the Camera Store. We'll catch you again next time. Hey, thanks for checking out this episode. If you want to check out more of our recent content, click up here. And if you're a Canadian and you want to support local, check out thecamerastore.com down here.